The Revenge of Marianne Bachmeyer, a grieving mother's dramatic act of justice. In March 1981, the city of Lübeck in Germany was stunned by a dramatic act of revenge that grabbed worldwide attention. Marianne Bachmeyer, a grieving mother, took an extraordinary step to seek revenge for the brutal murder of her young daughter, Anna. Marianne Bachmeyer was a single mother struggling to provide for her seven-year-old daughter, Anna. Despite a life marked by hardship and personal distress, Anna was the center of Marianne's world. However, on May 5, 1980, their lives were shattered when Anna was abducted by Klaus Grabowski. He was a 35-year-old butcher with a history of sexual offenses. After kidnapping Anna, Grabowski held her captive, sexually assaulted her, and suffocated her using a pair of tights. He then abandoned her lifeless body in a cardboard box by a canal. When Grabowski was arrested and confessed to the crime, Marianne's world was torn apart. The trial began in March 1981, and for Marianne, seeing Grabowski face justice through legal means was not enough. On the third day of the trial, she secretly brought a gun into the courthouse. Overcome with grief and anger, she shot Grabowski in the back. Six of her eight shots struck him, killing him instantly. The courtroom erupted in chaos, Marianne was immediately arrested and charged with murder. Her trial drew intense media attention. The public was divided over whether her actions were a justified act of revenge or a dangerous form of self-justice. Marianne's troubled past and the circumstances of her life were examined. This included her abusive childhood and the fact that her previous children were placed for adoption. Some people sympathized with her pain and saw her actions as a desperate attempt to get justice for her daughter. Others condemned her for taking the law into her own hands. In March 1983, Marianne was convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to six years in prison. She served three years before being released. After she was released from prison, she lived in Nigeria and Italy. She came back to Germany when she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Marianne Bachmeyer passed away in 1996 at the age of 46. Marianne Bachmeyer's story is a strong example of how complicated justice can be. It also shows what a mother might do when she is deeply sad and angry. Her actions still make people debate whether taking the law into your own hands is right and what it costs personally.